Hello everyone, in today's video let's create a coil um, or a helix that follows a path, right? So how do we do it in Maya? And there's many different uh, reasons why you might want to use a uh, coil, right? Maybe you are creating an old telephone cord, maybe you need some uh, funky sci-fi uh, cables or wires, or maybe you're creating curly hair for a character, whatever the reason is. Um, how do we do it in uh, Maya, right? So to do it, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my curves and initially let's just create a path that our coil can follow. So for that, I'm gonna grab this uh, EP curve and I'm just gonna simply um, create a path that I would like to use as a test, right? So I'm gonna do something like this, kind of an S here. I'm gonna press enter. If you would like to change the shape of your path, even after you uh, created it, you can always go to control uh, vertex and press W by selecting a point and you can drag these around and adjust them uh, as you wish. You can even uh, grab a point if you wanted to and uh, delete it. So let's say I don't want this one. I can just press delete on my keyboard and you can see I can uh, quickly kind of clean that up and simplify it as I wish, right? All right, so once you're done and you have your path, the next thing we should do is let's go to uh, create. Let's go to polygon primitives and let's grab something called uh, helix. So I'm going to click on that and now Maya is telling me to go ahead and start dragging. So I'm going to drag it on my um, grid here and let's choose the height. We can choose the number of coils and we can adjust this at any point. So for now, it doesn't really matter. I can also choose the radius of my um, coil here. And once you're done, let's go ahead and do this. Let's um, make sure that our coil is still selected. I'm going to hold on the shift key and uh, drag and select my path, right? And now I, what I want to do is I want to set this uh, mesh to, to uh, run along this path, right? So how do I do that? To do this, what I need to do is I need to go to animation. I need to go to deform and let's click on something called curve warp. As soon as I do, you can see that the uh, mesh has been placed on the path, but now it's clearly not long enough. So I'm going to go to my attribute editor and go to the polyhelix uh, tab here. And what I need to do uh, is I need to initially adjust the height and you can see the height is going to allow me to drag this and find the very end of the cord, right? So somewhere around 51 in my case is fine. Now I can go ahead and adjust the number of coils. So I'm going to give myself a lot more coils. 20 uh, doesn't seem like it's enough for me. I'm going to uh, manually type in the number 50. And I think this is a little bit better. All right. Another thing that I can do is I can change the width of my coil and that creates completely different uh, visuals, right? So I have actually, I can change the width. I can also change the radius which, or the thickness of the coil. And that could also create very interesting and very different uh, effects that uh, could be useful. If you are creating a low poly model and you don't want your subdivisions to be this high, you can of course go to subdivision uh, coil here and adjust that as well. So maybe, you know, something like if it's a video game, I would even go for something like seven and that should totally be fine. And that is pretty much it. That's how simple and easy it is. Now, if I press three, I, I can do a smooth preview. All right. So this would be a great way to cr quickly create uh, coils that follow a specific path. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.